I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. According to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. 
You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route to our first target. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout! No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. And like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. This is very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of clue. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. subjected to acute combustion. You done whining. Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. to buy 
my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a store machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> So far, Sly, to get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. I see, chaps. My Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Eureka! We're in the engine room! My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, 
you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves.